In this video, I'm going to walk you through the final checks to make sure that you are ready to cut with your Cricut. Um, I have already prepared my mat with the vinyl on it. Um, you can notice the red square, a brown rectangle, and a white rectangle. Um, I'm going to show you how to double check each one of these areas to make sure that it is correct and ready to be cut. On the computer screen, you will see the M. I always like to measure cu twice, cut once. That means I measure my vinyl twice to make sure it's the right size. I also check my placement twice to make sure it is the right size. I have on my screen, I have this object lined up at, within the one inch on that corner of that one inch line. So I'm going to check on my mat to make sure because if it's not in the right area, it's not going to cut. So I come to my mat and take a look at it. I am right on the line here. To be on the safe side, I'm going to move this over and down just a tad just to make sure I give myself plenty of room when I cut this out on my mat. I always also check the other side. I am lined up on the other side on the 7 inch line mark, just 1 inch past the halfway point. I'm going to look on my mat. Here's my halfway point. I've got more, almost 2 inches here. I have just over an inch there that I need so I have plenty of room there. I'm also going to check the bottom. Here's my half inch line, or my, I'm sorry, halfway line, my six inch line, just over an inch beyond that. I come down to my mat. Here's my half inch line. I got over two inches. This may be a little bit difficult to see, but hopefully you're getting the idea of just double checking to make sure everything is placed right on your mat and everything is large enough on your mat. Back up to my screen, I'm going to check my Morton, make sure it's where it needs to be. It's not quite two inches tall from the bottom of the mat. It's going up not even to the two inch line. On my vinyl, I have the brown on the bottom border up to the two inch line, so there's plenty of room there. One thing I've done differently that I'm going to have to change now, you'll notice on my mat I have the white vinyl over to the side. I don't have it in the area between the red and the brown. I have it over here to the side and I actually have it between the two and three block mark. One, one, two, three. On my mat, on Make the Cut, I have my circle underneath. So I'm going to need to move it over here and again I'm just going to make sure I have it in that area, in the one, two, three area, so that when it cuts it will be on that white piece of vinyl. Again, measure twice, cut once. So I now have everything in place. Everything is where it needs to be in order to make my cut. Again though, I only want to cut this circle first. I want to make sure I have my blade setting right and my pressure right. So over here to the side, I'm going to hide the name and I'm going to hide that tile monogram. So now the only thing that we'll be cutting is the circle. Come back over here to the mat, confirm that that is correct. I can even do my pr cut preview to make sure that is all that will be cut. So I am ready to cut. I'm going to now place the mat in the Cricut. Put it in underneath. You're going to click load paper on your Cricut cartridge. You do have to have a cartridge loaded in your machine for make the cut to work. And my paper is loaded. For the vinyl that I use, I have my blade set on a two. And I have my pressure set. This is the bottom wheel here is your pressure. You'll notice on your screen it's either high or medium or low. Um, I always set mine on medium. I use the same vinyl all the time. I don't change my type of vinyl, so my settings are very consistent. Um, until you learn what your vinyl settings are, um, you may have to play with it a little bit. You may need your blade depth to be one and your pressure to be low. Um, you're going for you want a kiss cut is what it's called, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. 